Hi, today I'm going to sew on a badge on my daughter's junior vest. You can use this technique for brownie triads too, or for CSA badges, daisy petals, whatever you've got. Anything that has a ridge around with the thread, this technique will work. This one is a little bit easier because it's so pronounced. The official badges from GSUSA have this firm backing for ironing on and it's bigger than the actual badges. So it kind of interferes just a little bit. If you want to, you can cut this backing off and trim it down to size. Just be careful not to trim the actual thread on the edge. Let's get to it. So I've taken my badge out. This is the orientation that it's supposed to be. And it's gonna go right here up with my staying fit badge. Now I've taken my Coats and Clark transparent thread and I have cut it 16 inches and I have a knot at the end where I, there you go, now you can see it, I've double knotted it and then I've trimmed the end down to about an eighth of an inch. I don't want to trim it too close because then if I make it too loose, if the knot is not loose and I try to tighten it like that, it's going to come out and just come off the end and I have to retie it. So what we're going to do I like to sew in a counterclockwise motion and I'm going to place my badge exactly where I want it and then I'm going to go to the three o'clock position on the badge take a little bit of the vest in my needle and push through the back of the badge pull through almost to the end and then you see this loop here where we had the knot, you're gonna put the needle through that loop and pull. And then you're gonna sew almost at the exact same spot, another stitch, just like you just did, except without the going through the circle. And that's a good place to start. The next thing that I do is I'm going to go through the stitching. I'm gonna pick a spot very close to where I was and go as far as I can through the stitching and then I'm gonna use my thimble to push through. And then pull the needle through. And then, just like my first stitch, grab a little vest, come up through the back of the badge. I'm gonna do that all the way around my vest. This one I missed a little bit of the badge. So I'm gonna go back through it one more time. The thing is about this method is that you need to check between stitches two and three and make sure that your badge is exactly where it needs to be. And hold it firmly between your fingers and your thumb on your other hand. That way it's not going anywhere whenever you stitch. In between steps two and three is the essential spot Otherwise, you could have a crooked badge and then you have to undo all your work and do it again. But the beauty of this method is that it's really easy to undo and do your work again. Because it's not machine stitched. This is just hand sewing. See, I just did the same thing again. Grab a little vest. Just two or three threads. That's all you need. You don't need a lot. And then push it through. Grab a little vest push it through. Now I have to turn my material and when you get a bunch of badges it can be a little difficult to do but you got to do it anyway. Got to do it anyway. See I've got double badges because my daughter's got badges on the inside of her vest so it's a little bit easier when it's not double badged. Alright so this is the stitch along this way, pull it through, then make sure it's flat, 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 make it firm, grip between your fingers, and then stitch it in place. A little bit of vest back through the badge. Now you don't have to come through on this, you know, this outer part here where the iron, you know, pages. I just do that because it's kind of easier. I mean, it's less to push through, but I mean, just like that, I just came through the 
the ribbon edge for the embroidery. And I, I call it a ribbon edge just because it looks so pretty, like a satin ribbon. It's like a satin, satin ribbon. See, now I'm all the way to seven o'clock about. See, there's not a lot of stitching to do. It's just, see, and reposition your vest, re-grab, grab. Let's see if I can get this on camera for you. Just grab that, push through the batch. This isn't going up and down through the material like, you know, a machine would. A machine goes up and down through the material, it punches a hole through and, you know, winds the material around or the thread around that's not what this is doing this is surface stitching in its entirety surface stitching you can use this method for boy scout merit badges too um you can use this method for your stuff on the back anything that has a ribbon edge like this it will be easy to do this way All right, I'm getting close to my three o'clock again. So I think I'll do one more. This is that weird in-betweeny stage where you think maybe I can get by without it. So I split the difference between my last stitch and my first stitch and come up in the middle. And this is how I'm gonna finish off. I'm gonna grab some vest. Okay, and I'm gonna push through. Okay. Now I've got a loop here. Just pause and watch. I've got a loop here. I'm going to go through the loop with my needle and catch the stuff right here and hold my finger there. I'm going to pull it tight and then put my needle back through the second loop. And that's a double knot. Well, what I call a double knot. It's not a true double knot, but you know. You know what I mean, it's a sewing double knot. And then to make my thread disappear, I'm gonna do my technique again through the ribbon edge. And if I had enough here to do another badge, I would tie it in a double knot like this and push it down as far as I can. And I would trim it right here right below the knot so I only have to trim it once but I'm not going to be using this thread again so I just trim it as close as I can to the badge and there we go I'd take it off if I you know had and here I'll demonstrate how to trim it really close see if I can get it here so I'm going to grab it like this and I'm going to pull And that's how I sew on badges. So to answer questions, which might come up in the comments, I thought I would address them here. My daughter did not earn all of these in her troop meetings. Some of them she did, some of them she didn't. So this geocaching one was done at camp. This was done in a council workshop. These three robotics ones were done in a council workshop. This was an online workshop during the summer two troop meetings, online workshop, a troop meeting, World Thinking Day, because she didn't use her World Thinking Day badge as an earned badge, she put it as a patch on her back, so she earned this one instead. It's a retired badge, Girl Scouts Around the World. This is a fun badge that she earned with me from Artistry. I think it's Artistry or it might be Create with Dye. Dis creative Discovery, I think that is what that is. Um, this one's horseback riding. She got that at a troop event, two troop meetings, council workshop, cookie business badges. She got those doing her online stuff on the internet with her cookie stuff on a digital cookie. Flowers, she did that in two meetings. Staying fit was two meetings. Detective was two meetings. Now she also earned this journey at camp last summer. 
That was in July where she earned those in the geocaching badge. She earned the moving journey over the summer with a friend and they finished it up in about three months because it took forever to do the energy audit. But she got everything done in about two months with one of her friends working on badge work over the summer. And then this was a journey in a day event. And she's been at, she was awarded this detective badge. The last one she earned was May 23rd. And she did these things at camp in July last year. So that's how she got so many badges in one year. Some of them were done at home, some of them were done at council events, and some of them were done in troop. So to answer another question, I'll do another video. These badges are just like the ones on front. They're easy to sew on. Easy to sew on. These that have like no anything around them, they're not so easy to sew on. So I've got some fun badges that I can pull out and I'll do another one on Gracie's vest to show you the stitching technique I use for those. Thanks for watching and leave uh, any questions in the comments below and either I or the community will try to answer them.